Hi, I'm Jin Hua, coming to you from beautiful Seoul. In this lecture note, we will introduce a concise concept which may be useful to know with a clever application, if any. Let me start the first of this series with Newman series for matrix inversion, usually for the approximation in our context. The method is named after Carl Newman in 1877 in the context of potential theory. If a matrix A has a property that the above equation holds true, then A is non-singular matrix or is invertible. Let's check the condition with the Hermitian matrix, for instance, since we usually meet this case in practice for example, as a covariance matrix. To comply with the condition, the positive eigenvalues of the matrix A should be less than 1. Notice that if A is invertible and Hermitian, all eigenvalues are positive. The above condition is important since it says the convergence of the Newman series. For the deep understanding, uh, we should note that the Newman series is a matrix generalization of geometric series. If the ratio is bounded by 1, the infinite geometric series is converged. The proof is simple, which may be learned in high school. Then we can compare it with the Newman series, the ratio identity matrix minus matrix A was bounded and the result is the inverse. Now we can see that the resemblance between them and the reason why I said is a metric generalization of geometric series. If we use the first k terms, we get the truncated version of Newman series. The terms goes to zero as n increases while the error is exponentially decreasing. Notice that this involves k-1 times of matrix matrix multiplications, which increases the time complexity in the computation. Actually, we cannot say that the Newman series is efficient in the big O notations, since matrix matrix multiplication and the matrix inversion has the same time complexity. In our simple experiment, it verifies as expected, the mean square error decreases as the number of terms and increases while the elapsed time is linearly increasing. Note that the elapsed time of matrix inversion is almost the same with that n equals to 3. But the caveat is the performance of batched computation. Although the performance of batched matrix inversion is improving recently, we cannot neglect the fact that matrix matrix computation is highly efficient for a batched input, especially for CUDA computing. I would say the trade-off is case by case depending on the batch and matrix sizes, and maybe not useful in the case for the free size approximation is needed because of its big error in this small n resume. Here, I want to introduce a successful application of Newman series in a one of recent papers. A meta learning paper used the Newman series for the estimation of its inverse of Hessian matrix. Lorraine and the colleagues noticed that unrolling differentiation for i steps around the locally optimal weights is equivalent to approximating the inverse with the first i terms in the Newman series. This idea is used to train millions of weights and hyperparameters successfully with a constrained computing environment. Their Hessian matrix was so big, so the matrix inversion was infeasible. But using the highly efficient matrix matrix multiplication, maybe with a limited precision, they successfully applied the Newman series to implicit differentiation in the hyperparameter optimization. 
This is the page 5 in the paper to locate the theorem 2, Newman SGD, for hyperparameter optimization. Here, lambda is the set of hyperparameters and W star denotes the local optimum for given hyperparameters lambda. If we unload the SGD optimization from the start to I plus 1 steps, the gradient of W with respect to 2 lambda is expressed as in equation 7. Though I believe the constructive condition includes a typo according to the convergence condition of Newman series. If the number of steps is infinite, the red terms in equation 7 turned into the inverse of Hessian, which means you can only use the first few terms to approximate the infinite steps of parameter updates for optimizing hyperparameters. So this is a summary. We studied the Newman series to approximate the matrix inversion, which is closely related to geometric series as a matrix generalization. Although we need to be careful for the contraction condition and the time complexity for successful applications. As a real world example, we show that Newman series can be exploited in optimizing millions of hyperparameters in deep neural network. It's all. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. See you again.